Absolutely. Be sure to update your vote with each gank and team fight by tweeting at LOL Esports with either the hashtag CLG win or hashtag TSM win. We'll update those as we get through the game. You see the comps on your screen. The crowd is more than ready. Week two, day two, representing the Goliath versus Goliath match here as Carnalogic Gaming takes on Team Solo mid for the rivalry. Yeah. This was a pink ward that CLG had. Bjergsen cleared it out about two or three minutes ago, and now he's taking the same roam path down again. This is going to be tough for Double to survive. Oh, close though. They are on a double lift. Santorin flashes in for the knockup. Aframu, he's just getting tossed every which way, and will finally go down to the hands of Bjergsen. A lot of kills and assists picked up there. Tough Basically to survive gone. a five man gank down yeah. bottom. Double lift. This is probably the a risky or low percentage fight for CLG to take, and they fall back here. Now TSM pushing up the mid lane. Whoa, Bjergsen onto Pole Belter, puts the Emperor's divide in, but Bjergsen already has the flash he needs to get out. Goes down, however, CLG collapses nicely on the fight, and the journey oh, oh, oh. across! It's gonna be a four-man journey. A cosmic binding against the wall, something you have to look out for. Lustboy locks it down, but the dredge line comes through from Alphamu, and he locks it down even harder. The sapling will slow, but they will not pursue. Conologic Gaming comes up nicely. Look at them chase after that one. So Pobelter takes the first risk by exposing Decide. himself to knock him back. And now COG with a mad advantage trying to take all the little things they can. Going for blue. Going for blue, but taking a lot of free damage in the process. Double S is going to be able to cut them off here. Santorin just on the other side. Possible tunnel under the wall. He hits up double Meganar. lift in a bad spot. They've stayed way too long here. Yes, flash. Meganar indeed a double man ultimate against the wall. That's double lift going down. Nick Smithy is now going to get hit up. And CLG has overstayed their welcome. A quick safeguard out saves Nick Smithy. Dyrus is going to walk them home to make sure they get out semi safely are it can shred the tank line so COG even with this 5,000 gold disadvantage uh, if they can somehow keep Paul Belter safe can still do a whole bunch of damage that'll be the start of it tempered fates himself and Zion Spartan here comes the teleport in should be safe for now. It's Smithy on the wrong side of the fight. Zion Spartan gets taken down as he twisted advances in one more time. Dyrus just trying to gnar out everybody backwards to stop the fight for Team Solo mid. CLG is putting themselves on the front line and then the oh. back line perfectly to make sure Wild Turtle does not have targets. And then they're able to focus him down. Pole Belter with some big time plays early on here. Bjergsen though once more. Oh, he goes in. He's able to take down oh. one. Aframu gets hit. Double lift now onto Bjergsen. He's able to mimic it out. That mirror image giving him a big Bit of a mind trick. One last arrow. Can he throw it through? It's going to be Pole Belter shifting the soldiers forward and picking up the kill. Santorin lives with a sliver oh. of HP. Crazy stuff. In the Cloud9 game, TSM took the first five dragons, could not close out a victory. This game, they're up the first three dragons, but they're misstepping in the middle of the game and giving up some of their leads. Now they're all on a bit of the back foot. Oh, Dyrus. could be an ultimate. Eyes still on Dyrus. He's able to throw Zion Spartan back. It's still tanky, and that's going to give the team enough time. Bardolf. That's double lift and Smithy in the bar out. Double lift can still start to kite back. Pole Belter was just on the outside, but it's a triple kill for Bjergsen. The team was able to start kiting and make it happen. It is going to be Lust Boy going down as Double Lift and Pole Belter now run for the hills. Bjergsen should be able to close the gap as he's going the long way around. He will uh -oh. get the cut. Double Lift will get hit, but they focus Pole Belter so they can clean up both of them. That's the mirror image. He's going to be able to get back in for the double kill, and TSM now capitalizes on a CLG error. Gonna wait for the replay, but I think that flash cosmic binding from Lust Boy onto Poe Belter and Double Lift together. All right, it they could, do have control of the map. Could, yeah, initiation that they have to keep controlling this. Such a close fight there. Obviously, Bardock comes That's in. Teleporting in. Zion's healthy. Scrying orb on top of Baron. Home guard he tree. He heads in. That's easily the smite. Going over to Santorin onto Zion Spartan. And it looks like TSM is going to be able to figure out which target they want. Now, who wants to take the magical journey? A cosmic binding only hits X Smithy. Santorin's into the back line. That's going to be uh, Aframu going down very fast. Pole Belter is low, and he gets popped by the Ignite coming in from Bjergsen, who's full health after this fight. Like I said, they had all the chance to focus who they wanted, and they just piled on everybody in front of them. Once again, CLG with the better start to the season, come in with a whole bunch of momentum, but TSM control the rivalry. It's the same thing that happened to CLG we talked about before. As soon as they hit the TSM roadblock, they could not stop the slide. 
and it hopefully won't happen again for them, for the CLG fans. TSM on the Nexus, 40 minutes into this one, 17 to 7, Team Solo mid, takedown counter, Logic Gaming. Gotta feel good for TSM after dropping the first game of the split to Cloud9. Yeah. They're able to take down the last undefeated team in the LCS in CLG. Everybody's a little bit wounded now. Yeah, here that's in the North true. American LCS, and honestly.